after to your dinner party, we're gonna show you how to fold a bow tie napkin. We're gonna hot dog it. Up a it. third? Hot dog, yeah, and ha yeah, to the middle line, and okay. then hot dog from the top down. So hot meet, dog it. Meet in the middle, and then full hot dog it up. Full like hot this. dog. Yep, hot dog and hamburger. And then you're just gonna fold it kind of in thirds like this, where the, the middle's like overlapping, just like an inch or so. Okay. Perfect. I'm trying. You're di that's good, that's great. That's not bad. Yeah. Now. So you're gonna now use your ribbon and tie your bow tie in the middle like this. So just sort of wrap this around and on each side and then you'll end with a knot on the back. And tie it well, however you want to. This is very knot. stressful! That's not, that's not, it's really fun. And then, <laughs> yours looks good. The final touch is when you I'm trying, Brid. You're, you're doing great. This is looking good. Mine does I see not the look bow like tie. a bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, so when you turn oh it back God. over, then you start kind of pinching the middle up like this. So it does turn into a little cute little bow tie shape. Look at this. Aww. Aww. <laughs> I would no. rather go to a dinner party it's, with bow tie napkins. Okay, so. it's, it's very cute. I would say, here he is. <laughs> She would eat that napkin in I'm two seconds. I'm keeping mine with me. All right. All right. What about flowers? Do you do flowers? I I order them. You order them. <laughs> My husband is very good at growing some. Okay. Yes. So you have them. I have seen them. You yes. have seen flowers. Okay. <laughs> well, of course, they make for a great centerpiece. So this is a fun hack, though. We actually used a toothbrush holder as a way oh, to actually cute. separate Separate your flowers. Yeah. yeah. And if, if you don't have enough slots, you actually can just use a piece of tape in here. And the way to uh, sort of arrange your flowers, you want to take the floral stems first and you kind of want to start placing these inside your vase. You can do yours over here. Oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> Sorry. So I was mesmerized. You want to go for like a blend of height. I cut so the baby's head off. You could discard that one. Yeah, exactly. Oh, right. uh, <laughs> so the actual tip for floral arranging is you want your florals to be like one and a half times the height of your vase. Um, it just, I don't know why, it like draws the eye. Um, hmm. And once you actually place your flowers and then you can start adding more of the greenery parts like this piece that you... Like the one that I killed? <laughs> I'll use that like piece. The, exactly. The and you kind of just want it to, I like like more wild arrangements and you know, some shorter, some taller. Like there's no right or wrong way to really do it as long as you're getting like enough height and width to your arrangement. But when you think you're done, you're, you're done and there's... A lot of fun you can add with flowers. Or when you run out of flowers, you're <laughs> done. Or when you don't have any more flowers to pick in your yard, exactly. you're done. Exactly. So you can see how we do that just like that. So pretty. Yours is looking great. Not bad. Isn't that horrible? <laughs> it's <didn't stick. laughs> um, So the final setting looks like this. We're going to place our... Pretty it's little bow tie pretty here. I'll put my flower right here. Very pretty. Sweet.